<laughs> Why is it saying the event failed? What the hell? What the hell? Am I live? What the hell? It's not appearing. It seems like I am live. Okay, mute myself there. Hi, it looks like I'm live now. That's weird, I don't know what's going on. It said it was failing the entire time. Like it said, your live stream failed. Yet it said I was live, so I don't know. Yeah, hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. Seems like everything's working now and we can get started with the actual drawing. So let me know if the music is too loud for you or if you guys can hear me properly um because I always have technical issues but I think it's okay all right so I'm going to get started with the little kitty bitty here little itty bitty kitty ah! all right <sighs> hello <laughs> welcome so let's get started with the little kitty this is one of the pets that I'm drawing today um, this was supposed to start like on Friday. I was supposed to do this on Friday, but I was um, first of all busy watching the inauguration of the US and also I wasn't feeling well. I was getting sick like um, I had a cold sneezing constantly and like my nose was running. It was really gross. I'm feeling better today like a lot better and yesterday was the same thing with headaches and everything so I postponed the stream till Saturday and then I wasn't feeling well again so I postponed the stream till today. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, um, but it's just not cool if I'm like sneezing constantly and coughing and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get started. Um, here's a little Persian cat. I'm just getting my pencil crayons out. Um, I have a little Persian cat here. Um, the user sent me a photo of the Persian cat. Actually, I was I'm terrified to draw this one because um, it's full body, first of all. Second of all, I hand drew this completely like without like literally 20 minutes before the stream started so i was like oh my god i don't know if it even looks right um i think it's okay though so it's gonna be maybe a little bit of a challenge might be not as proportioned as i want it but eh, at least i tried right um unfortunately my i had fixed a photo and for whatever reason didn't save it and closed it on photoshop so i don't really have a good reference photo either it's a little bit of a disaster right now um, let me just pop up the reference photo that I have of the kitty bear. Where is it? It's on my desktop somewhere. Ah, okay, there it is. So here's the thing. The image quality that I have is not high quality, so it's going to be a bit hard to get all the details. So I'm going to be freestyling a lot with this drawing. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun. We're going to try it. Oh my gosh, she doesn't sound like a man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is good. Um, we're also going to be using 
markers. Just trying to figure out. Wait a second. I swear, guys, I'm gonna start drawing in a few minutes. So let me just get the reference photo up. I keep losing it. Okay. It's hard to tell what color the, the cat is. I think it's a mix between grayish. Um, whatever. Okay. A good way of getting proportions right is not doing pre-line work. It sounds crazy, but it's really easy. Yeah, the proportions, are uh, like the pre-line work I did was, um, you could actually find it on my Facebook fa page, like my Facebook fan page. I had done a, uh, like what I usually do with the reference lines, like I really broke down the geometric shapes of the cat. Um, I could probably link it to you guys. Um, you can find it below in the description of my actual YouTube video so you can see how I broke it down. The photo on my Facebook wall, you'll see exactly the steps I took to achieve like how I drew the, the, the cat. Um, now, again, I'm not good with full body animals so this was really a big step for me. But I think what I'm going to do before I get to the actual pencil work, so we're just going to be trying, this is experimental for me right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the actual Copic markers and we're just going to start from the center of his nose um, and go from the outside. So his face is super dark already um, and it's more of a warm gray color. I don't have warm grays, I only have one which is much darker so I'm going to be using cool grays for the undertone and then I'm going to be using the actual warm gray pencil crayons that I have to put it on top as an overlay. Um, so this is the only thing that I can do, the only sort of compromise that I can do with the actual cat's face. So I hope it's going to look good in the end, but I think it's going to be okay. I think it's the photo quality also makes it look like it's more like a warm gray color rather than cool gray because they the subscriber also sent like other photos and it was very um it was very cool gray in color and then others were very like dark like beige color so it was kind of hard for me to really judge um from that aspect wait a second wait a second front paws are too short yeah we can always adjust the front paws that could very well be definitely the case um wait like the front paw here. I'm gonna zoom in onto his face though, so let's zoom in. I'll push my warm grace through the USB port for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that would be awesome. I need to really buy myself a pack of warm grace. Okay, let's zoom in here. Yeah, what's the general opinion of on the front par paws? Are they too short? Do they look okay? For Honestly, from my perspective, I think it looks fine, but I could probably see how this one here might be um, needed to be longer. I am not sure, but I think that's, uh, that's where I would see why you guys would think the front paws are too short. But again, I don't know. I've never drawn a full cat before. Um, sorry, I'm I'm looking through my emails to look for the other photos that she sent. I should have got this up before the stream started. There we go. Okay. All right. Are you German or Canadian? Love you. Thank you, Cheryl. I am Canadian, 100%. I just live in Germany. So Germany is... I, I live in Berlin. But yeah, I am Canadian. I'm French Canadian, actually. Okay, so we're just gonna progress. Just the right paw here. No, 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 no. Yeah, I also love Persians. Persians are so sweet. They look so funny, like little gremlins, you know, little gremlin babies. And this, this cat here from the subscriber. Um, it has a very grumpy face like the other photos that she sent I had to draw it because of the face like the expression he was making was so funny I was like oh my gosh you know I like fat fluffy things that look a little bit like angry all the time I think it's so so cute 
So again, for the newcomers, I'm just doing like an underlay right now of the color, and we're really gonna be doing all of the detail work with pencil crayons afterwards. Hi, Shira. Let's save this photo here as well. <laughs> Welcome, guys. <laughs> Grumpy cat for life, yeah, for real. Love grumpy. Grumpy animals, they're so cute. Yeah, go to Australia, go to bed. 1.45 in the morning on a Sunday night. Damn, girl. You should not be watching me. You should be sleeping. You can definitely watch this later on. I'll be uploading the um, drawing process of it as well. And then I will, uh, yeah, you, the stream is always archived, so you guys can definitely see the stream. It's so adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the cat is adorable. I love it. And I really wish I was using warm gray right now rather than cool gray. But again, I don't have all of the markers yet. I have to buy them. But before I buy them, I need to get paid and I need some money for it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Mariella. <laughs> um, Cheryl, do you sell your art? Yes, I do sell my art. I also take commissions, so if you're interested in getting your pet, um, like a pet portrait, I definitely take commissions, and of course I, the commissions are more customized, so you guys can dictate the colors, dictate the position, um, of course, you know, I give suggestions and whatnot, but you can dictate like what you would like in the background, or flowers, for example. Um, the live streams that I do are for free, and I select the ones I only want to do, and I also um, do it the way that I think would, like, it's not customized, right? It's just very, it's just for me to practice, basically. Um, so yeah, I do sell my art. You can contact me, info at brushesandbunnies.com. Oh lord, 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 this is a... I don't, I hope this is the proper color, honestly, guys. It's okay. Take a mocha break. Can't you layer a warmer color very lightly? That's exactly the plan that I'm doing. It's just because his face is so colorful, uh, not colorful, but there's a huge, like, dark spot in his face and if i were to do that with pencil crown it would take a long time so i kind of want to take a shortcut with the, the markers this is something that i don't typically do so i'm trying it out mm. but um yeah let's give it a try actually i'm gonna start off with already with the pencil work um funny enough my cool grays my warm grays have disappeared don't know where they <laughs> where they've gone oh no oh no Okay, so we've got cool gray, warm gray, warm gray, number two, five, I'm missing number three. What is it? Ah! How much are there? Are you, are you asking in relation to the pet portraits? It depends on the size, um, and it also depends on if you want to get like a full like only the face and shoulders done or if you also want to get the here it is if you want to get the um whole body done the prices differ and also the background as well um so if you're interested just hit me up on email info at brushesandbunnies.com and i will give you a full list of like prices um depending on the sizes and whatnot and we can definitely come up to a compromise if, if it's too much for you if it's um if not enough i don't know <laughs> we can definitely talk about it so I'm open to it. Emily, I know I received your email and I totally forgot to answer back. Uh, um, I've decided that because I have to run to the pet, st uh, the pet store, I have, because I have to run to the post office quite often, 
it's very bothersome for me because I do work full time so it's hard. I am planning on sending all of the portraits that I do once, like the free ones that I do, once a month. So I accumulate them over time and then I just go to the post office once. Um, this is also, uh, it's just generally better for me because there's a lot of things that I do also in my spare time that I don't have a chance to run to the post office. So I haven't sent your, um, like the live stream painting or drawing that I did yet. Uh, I know it's very due, but I'll be sending it next week um, once I do the other pet portrait. It's just too much for me to run to the art store, or to the pet store. Ah! I can't talk! It's too much for me to run to the, to the post office all the time, so unfortunately. Thank you, Gavok! Bye, Cheryl! Thanks for joining! Okay, so we're layering, we're starting to kind of do the general shape of the fluff now. And what I like to do is kind of take the approach of going around, mapping out the areas where the dark of the fur will meet the light of the fur. So this is to determine the general pattern of the actual face. And I'm using warm gray number three and... Um, I will be adding darker tones as I progress, so it's just a layering process right now. This is why it looks quite light in comparison to the photo. And of course the photo is much darker. Uh, this photo here that I added in the live stream is non-edited, so it looks very dark. So the end result here will not look like the photo. It will be much lighter in comparison, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Muhammad. We can hear the pencil, I know. There's nothing I can do about that, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's a like microphone sensitivity thing, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. I've been told we can hear the pencil. I'm trying my best to like not make it so obvious. <laughs> the owl, everyone thinks that it's an owl. Dude, that's a bunny rabbit. Maybe a weird thing to ask, but how long have you been drawing in your life? Um, it's not a weird thing to ask, it's per perfectly relevant. I have been drawing all my life, but I have taken breaks in between, so I didn't draw like maybe for a period of five years, I just didn't do anything. Um, but recently it has been like for this level of drawing that I'm doing now, like pets and stuff like that. I used to never be able to draw pets. Like I didn't understand how pets worked. I had no idea. And I've only been starting to practice pets really for the past two years, two and a half years. So it's, it's very recent for me. And all of the progression that you see me doing right now has only been since two years. So it's a bit of a com complicated thing to explain, like how long I've been drawing. Cause it's been on and off really. The music's quiet. Is the music too quiet? Let's uh, bump it up a little bit. Let me know if the music is better now. Maybe it's a little... Do you sell portraits? Yes, I do. You can uh, email me for custom portraits. And yeah, I definitely sell. Yep, I'm open to commissions for sure. just hit me up and we can talk about prices because um, the prices are it, it varies on on the size of the piece I only offer certain sizes for now um, I am building slowly my ability to draw on bigger sizes but yeah like for example this is one of the sa sizes I sell and it um, depends on the size like if you want the head or the shoulders drawn or if you want the full body or if you want a background or if you want more than one pet in one portrait there's a huge um, that will affect the price for sure Okay. The dank, yo. Dank is back. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Um, you guys still can't hear the music. What? What is going on? Okay, wait. Let me know if you can hear it now. I'm just... <laughs> I'm bumping up the sound in Spotify. I have no idea if what's... I don't know. 
I have a whole line of, of portraits of uh, pets because I do do pets on a weekly basis um, for live streams, at least I try. And I think I'm postponing the pet Friday to like Sunday um, because I'm, I'm seeing that there's just, it's just better for me schedule wise. Um, so I, I'm thinking of postponing all the pet live streams to Sunday or Saturday where I have to play with this, I have to check. But I do have a huge lineup of pets um, that people have sent to me. So you guys can send me your pets you want me to draw, but it doesn't mean I can get back uh, or I can do it right away. I have such a huge <laughs> lineup of things right now. Um, but if you guys want like to actually pay for a portrait, that's I'm definitely open to. to that's something completely different. Thank you, Kawaii Loria. Oh, this is this cat's gonna be so fluffy. <laughs> I love fluffy cats, it gets me so excited. They're actually such a challenge to draw. <laughs> Pet art Sundays. Yeah, maybe we're gonna see. Oh, Chloe, <laughs> welcome back. No worries, Nico. Take your time. Yee! When you guys are drawing long furred animals, it's pretty important that you do long strokes. Like, the, the Persian's fur is so long, it's like, plop, plop, like super fluffy. Um, so when you're drawing it, you want to... You don't have to necessarily do short strokes, like if you're drawing like a short-haired cat. So here, we're going to really elongate the pencil strokes. And this really helps to create the, the feeling that the fur is long and it's fluffy. Ah, I love it. Okay, so warm gray number five. Shall I do? I don't like warm gray number four. What is that? Catastrophic. Oh, ho, ho. good one. <laughs> How much do I have to pay for one? It depends on the sizes and what you are willing to get. So email me and I can send you a list of prices that I have. Um, for like different sizes and there's all kinds of different things that are involved. His nose is going to be so hard to do. It's like a little triangle on top. A fluff. Little fur triangle. Eee. It's perfect. Oh, you guys are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so much fur, I love it. Yeah. I hope he's gonna turn out. I'm really nervous about this one. I don't really know what I like. <laughs> I've drawn one of these. It was in a previous live stream, and I drew it, but it was more of a cartoon style. And this one is really like realistic, completely realistic. It's just a whole different thing for me, for the Persians. And I hope that it will turn out. I'm really nervous about this one. Around the nose is much darker, so I think I'm just gonna put a lot of pressure to darken those tones up a little bit. Did you ever did you get everything for your drawing from Faber Castell? Um uh I'm not sure what you mean by that question. Um, like I, I, like the pencils that I'm using is Faber Castell, and I didn't get it from Faber Castell. Like I, I bought it at the art store myself. So all the materials you see me using, it's all like I bought it myself. I don't have any sort of sponsor, sponsor, blah, 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 sponsorship with anyone. Um, but yeah, I, I do use Faber Castell a lot, and the paper is non is not Faber Castell. It's something different. It's um Dollar Rodney is the brand. It's really good paper. So we really want to darken up these this face here. This is gonna might take a little bit of a long time because it's very specific um, in terms of the color and the strokes here. I'm actually worried about the eyes. I don't know how I'm gonna do the eyes. I think the eyes are gonna be challenging. Oh 
<laughs> my dog is mad at this picture. Does he not like, uh, he doesn't like cats? <laughs> I think her real name is Elizabeth. Well, that's part of my real name. I have two names. Um, like, it's a French thing in Canada, in Quebec, that you name your child with like two names with a hyphen. I think it's, I think it was like a trend back in the 90s. I don't, I don't even know. But I do have two names and my name is Anne Elizabeth with a hyphen in between. So yeah, people, like have a hard time saying my name especially the germans they they can't pronounce like um elizabeth like th 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 the th sound so they always sound really really funny it's a little bit embarrassing like germans cannot pronounce my name i got the flu oh no get better The flu really sucks. Um, that really sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so we're gonna darken it up now with some cool, some warm gray. This is the only warm gray marker that I own. <laughs> I hope it uh, will work. I think it's a little bit too dark. It's it's um, the number three, so it's, it is quite dark compared to the cool gray that I have but we're going to darken it all up. By the way, I wanted to ask, are there anyone, any people from Iceland in the chat? Cause I'm actually going to Iceland next month. We just decided to go on a trip for just like random. We're like, yo, let's go to Iceland. Um, so yeah, we're going to Iceland. So I don't know if, if there's anyone that has been or who lived there who can let me know like really cool places to visit. And yeah, I would definitely appreciate your, your feedback. I think would be so cool. That cat looks shook. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This cat looks like it's seen some stuff. Do you remember me? Yes, I do, Nicola. Oh no. My water bottle just fell. Huh. Eh. Eh. Okay, so we are making progression here. Do you go to some kind of art school? No, I don't. I am all self-taught. I don't go to art school. I've never been to art school. I've never been to art class except for high school art class. That counts. You have to go to the lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of the lagoon for sure, for sure. That's definitely on the list of things to do. I'm actually so excited to go though like we're gonna be staying in the middle of nowhere it feels like the middle of nowhere although it's only like two hours drive from the main city um but it's gonna be really nice so we're going actually february 22nd to the 29th um and we're renting a car and we're just driving around so i may i won't be able to live stream on that weekend obviously because i'm in the middle of nowhere in iceland but i think um i'm gonna be filming the entire thing and making couple of vlogs out of it to show off my adventures so I hope you guys will like that I'm not sure I don't really typically do that many vlogs on this channel but I'm definitely wanting to do that with my adventures it's gonna be more in the like outdoor adventures and I'm really hoping to see some baby seals ah I want to see seals I'm so excited <laughs> why are you so great I can't even draw a house Andrea guess what I cannot draw a house either, so I think we're pretty much in the same boat when it comes to that. I cannot draw a house. I think uh, if you can draw a house, um, you're pretty much like... I don't even know, that's that's super advanced for me. Okay, we're just gonna sketch in the ear already. So the ear is gonna be like... Super dark. So the ear is a bit challenging because you got the white fluff popping up over the top of the ear, like the darkness of the ear. So you have to actually draw this in while you're drawing the actual ear. And this can be the, the, the most challenging part. You have inspired me to draw now. Yeah, go for it, Noah. 
Can you tell us more about your pers your bunny's personality? <laughs> My bunny's personality. Um, he's a lone wolf. I can tell you that right now. He uh <laughs> he appreciates to be by himself. He's actually the first rabbit that I had that has been like that. Usually they they beg you to pet them and they want to come see you. He likes to be by himself, and that's totally fine with me. Um, he gets angry if you like if you go into his territory. So like under the couch is where he lives. Well, he doesn't live under the couch. He likes to chill under the couch when he's out of his cage, and he's so sweet. Like he'll um, if you put your hand there, he'll like look at you, and then he'll he'll growl. He'll go like, Arr! and then he'll like attack your hand with his front paws like a little kangaroo. Um, so he, it's just to basically give us a warning that he doesn't want us to be there. Um, but most times he's very good mannered. Like he's not an evil rabbit. He's just um, he's a little sassy. He's a sassy boy. It's the best way to describe it. How come this pet art stream is on a Sunday? It's on a Sunday today because Friday I was busy watching the inauguration uh, of the U.S. Um, with Donald Trump and. Um, yeah, basically just watching it to see how funny it would be. <laughs> and then I was actually feeling sick on Friday, and then I postponed the stream till Sunday, to Saturday, and I was actually not feeling well again on Saturday. And today I'm feeling so much better, so yeah, the stream is today. But I'm thinking for future-wise, I'm going to be postponing the streams to Sunday, maybe? Because Friday seems to be quite... It's just better for my schedule um, now that things are changing. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm still doing the live stream, so don't worry about that. <laughs> His face looks so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Bunny, can you give art lessons to people? It depends what kind of art lessons you want me to give you. Um, I can definitely try, but I don't know how, like where, like in live stream do you mean, or... Would be really fun in the future actually if I could be able to do that somehow. Ah, this is where it gets complicated, you gotta draw the white floof. Oh, this is not turning out. Are you ever going to draw your bunny? Uh, yeah, definitely. I haven't drawn a bunny in a long, long time. I would like to do it. I would actually like to draw a portrait of my rabbit who um, passed away with the rabbit that I have now because they were best friends. Um, it would be really cute to do like a memorial portrait. They had some bromance. They had a serious bromance going on. They were both boys, so they were like... It was hard to get them bonded, but once you got them bonded, they were inseparable afterwards. It was really cool. Alright, alright. Okay, so this here looks a bit weird. Let's kind of thin out this white spots here. Thank you, L, L Arts. I need to make my homework at math, Bunny. Can you help me, please? Um, <laughs> not really. Math is... Will be the death of me. I cannot do math. I absolutely hate math. I'm such a bad math person. I just can't think with numbers, guys. Like, any sort of numbers is like... Uh, I just can't do numbers. games yeah of course I like video games I was playing Sims like um, the most game the most recent games I've been playing was actually Fallout Fallout 4 again I kind of dropped Fallout 4 for a while and I never picked it back up um, and then 
I was playing Sims, also Sims 4 recently, uh, like a few days ago. Cause they got the new vampire game pack and I wanted to play that. So I, I have that and Fallout was recently. And uh, what else was I playing? Um, I think that was it very recently. That's only, I typically play other games though. Like uh, The Witcher, Witcher 3. I'll just scrolls on the line. There's all kinds of stuff I play. I learned from your live drawings. Thank you. Yeah, cool, Eddie. I'm very happy that's the case. I hope you do learn. I don't know what to do with the eyes, guys. You guys can see in the reference photo, the eyes are super, super dark compared to everything else. They actually look black. I um, mean, that's just the lighting of the actual thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is the eyes, I'm just gonna outline them with the gray for now. And I think I'm gonna do them as a last resort because I have a feeling I'm gonna ruin the drawing if I do the eyes now. I don't know what to do it. Like the cat has blue eyes. Um, like in, in actual reality because I saw other photos of his and yeah, they, they're blue eyes, but I'm just gonna have to use my imagination, I guess. I don't know. don't really know. I'm gonna draw now. Yeah, Florence! I love Sims and Goat Simulator. I played Goat Simulator once in a while. Um, it's, oh my god, it's so random. It's such a random game. It's fun to play though if you're with friends. I think, I think you have a good time. <laughs> yeah! I have an empty notebook, what to do with it? What do I do with it? You can draw. Fill it in with pretty drawings. Make it look beautiful. You can like either write or do some nice, draw some comics. If I had an empty notebook, that would have already been like filled with uh, all kinds of random sketches. Guys, the floof is getting real right now. This is getting intense. Woo! We got, got, got getting some floof. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, the chat's going fast. Uh, yo, Bay, I'm here. Yo, Nafal, welcome. Welcome to the stream, Nef Nafal, Nafal, Nafal. I will never be able to pronounce your name. Bureau pen challenge. So you only use beer pens to draw something, you can use four color pen though as it counts as beer. What's a beer pen? Is that, is that like the pen with the different colors in it? Bunny, what should I draw? You should draw this cat. Draw with me, try to, try to draw the same cat. <laughs> that might be harder, quite, quite hard. I think this hat, this cat is pretty hard to draw. Yeah! Okay. The floof. My, uh, Devin, you can find my information in the, in the description below the, um, below the, uh, the video. So I always put my contact info in the description of my video so you guys can see anything you need in order to contact me there. But my email is info at brushesandbunnies.com. Woo! Ah, a bureau is a regular ink pen. It's like a ballpoint pen or like a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, okay, well, I actually do that quite often at work. I draw on like, <laughs> what's it called? Um, 
post-it notes and whatnot and I just draw random stuff while I'm thinking of like the email I'm writing or whatever. It's just like it helps me concentrate better if I doodle. So I will just doodle mindlessly with a ballpoint pen or with a um oh, what are they called? It's just like the regular, like really cheap blue pens that you can get. It's actually quite fun. Yeah, Jesse, that's so good to that's so good to hear. I'm really happy. I'm sure your dog appreciated it also. That's so funny. That's really cute. Okay, so we're gonna darken up the center of his face. His face in the center, like they have really squished in noses, so everything in the center between the eyes and the nose, it's like indented inside their face. So this area is always a shadow. So you really wanna emphasize the shadow between the eyes. Um, and I'm just using a darker warm gray. So I'm using warm gray number six um, for this effect. And I'm just kind of overlapping some of these spots here and blending in the different tones together. I haven't watched Mona, Moana yet. I haven't watched it yet. Katarina, go study. Don't watch me. Please, study, study, study. It's okay. There will always be other live streams. <laughs> The cat has a nice mustache. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it does have a nice mustache. You know, cats. I love cats with mustaches. I think I have to update the thumbnail, though. <laughs> this is a manly cat, guys. It's really manly. Okay, so let's extend his floof out. We're gonna use a warm gray number two because um, this side of his face seems to be lighter in comparison to this side. Um, so we're just going to use the warm gray number two, which is the much lighter version, obviously. And we're gonna extend the gray part of his face outwards, but it's not gonna be as dark as the right side. It's just the plan. Of that. What is your favorite juice? Um, uh, I really like grape juice and peach juice. I love peach juice. It's a good stuff. It's a good stuff. I probably have to update the thumbnail, guys. Okay, well, let's finish. Let's finish the side of the face here, and then we're gonna update. I'm gonna sharpen. So when you're drawing animals, guys, always sharpen your pencils. Because you need to have those sharp pencil strokes for the fur because fur is very thin and it's very fine and um, if you have like fat unsharpened pencil tips it's gonna make fat ugly lines so you want to keep that nice and sharp so you get precise fur yeah <sighs> Drawing a mustache cat with pencil. <laughs> Actually, yes, <laughs> that's very true. Drawing a mustache cat. A mustache, a mustache cat. Okay, since it's very light on this side, we have to erase the reference lines a little bit. A little bit. Now we can really extend it out. This is where the side of his fur is going to appear. Woo, 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 woo. And when you're drawing fur, you wanna have fun. Like you wanna just like keep your wrist loose and just flick your wrist away um, and create those beautiful, long, elegant lines of fur. And keep your, yeah, just keep your wrist loose. That's really the trick as well. And this ear is gonna look much better, I think, than the other ear. The other ear are really screwed up. Yeah. Now 
I need I need to get my sharpener. Yeah, you do. Sharpeners are your best friend. <laughs> Definitely. Extra floofy! Woo! Okay. Alright, so we're gonna fill in the ear as well. <laughs> All right, here. Uh... Yeah, Nico, I have to plan your live stream. I have to figure out what day to do it on. Wait. Um. Actually, oh wait, do I have something on the weekend? I'm trying to think of this upcoming weekend. It's my husband's birthday. It's also my mother-in-law's birthday. And it's also, there's a very popular exhibition in Berlin that we're going to on the weekend, like this upcoming weekend. So if, if I stream on this weekend, I have no idea yet. That's why I haven't planned anything because I'm very, very busy. I've got all kinds of birthdays and I've got some exhibitions to go to. So, I don't know if there's Ber people from Berlin here, but I'm gonna be visiting the Grüne Woche, like Green Week in Berlin. It's so cool. You can try food and, and drinks from all around the world, and you can go and just spend money and visit animals. And yeah, it's really cool. It's a very popular exhibition. It's contagious, now I wanna draw. <laughs> yeah, then do it, girl. Is this a random cat you found on the internet or a fan's cat? This is a fan's cat, so it's uh, from a subscriber. <laughs> I'm from Stuttgart. I've never been to Stutt Stuttgart. Stuttgart. I can't even pronounce it, I bet. Yay! Yeah, I just realized I don't have subscriber bunny on the live stream. I didn't turn it on. Actually, I removed subscriber bunny from my live stream because um, last stream it was causing like freezing issues and I just forgot to add it back in. Ah, whatever. I'll have it for the next live stream. All right. If you guys don't know what to draw, just um, like I always use to find Im inspiration on what to draw. I like to use Pinterest, so maybe I will like type the word cat in the search bar, and then I'll realize that. Uh, uh, like I'll look through the photos and then something will strike my inspiration. I'll just be like, oh, I would like to try to draw that. I think that'd be really cool So yeah, try check out Pinterest or just Google images anything like that ears are so dark. <laughs> Whatever. You like my glasses? Oh, well, thank you. I've never, I've only had glasses for like a year. No, almost two years now. It's been very recent. It was actually a shock to me because I was like sitting there one day and I was looking at the computer and I couldn't see anything anymore and everything was blurry and I was like, <gasps> Oh, what's going on? And I used to always have perfect vision. Like that, that, that day really bothered me. And ever since then, it took me a couple months in order to get the glasses. And I was freaking out because it was like, I couldn't see things properly anymore. And then once I got my glasses and I put them on, it was like, I could see, like, I was like, what have I been missing my whole life? Like, oh my God, like the amount of detail I can see now compared to what I used to, like it was incredible. So maybe I did need to have glasses for a while, but I don't know. It was very strange. A 
All right, so let us, we're gonna draw the floof behind his ears now. And this is much lighter in color. So we're gonna be using a uh, warm, gray, warm gray number two. And we're gonna have to work really closely with the darker edges of the fur here. So we're gonna try to make it, we have to make it stand out compared to the light fur from behind the head. Or from on top of the head, I should say. There's definitely a difference of fur here. Um, so I hope I can achieve that. So we're just gonna give it a try, give it a go. Do you use any blending mediums such as powder blender or damsel? Nope, I don't use blending me mediums. The only blending mediums I use um, for pencil drawing, I don't use blending mediums. Um, for graphite, I use the like the blending stump that's sort of the only tool that i really use and then for um like oil paints of course i use some sort of oil as well for that but i don't typically i haven't really adventured or ventured into all of these blending techniques for pencil pencil drawings yet i've just been sort of figuring things out myself as i progress uh, but yeah if you have any advice for me in terms of blending stuff let me know I have seen some videos about it though. I think it's pretty interesting. <coughs> Do you use Prisma colors? No, I don't use Prisma color. I use only Faber Castell. Like I, I always say, um, it's very hard for me to find Prisma colors here in Germany. I don't know about if there's any other Germans in the chat, if they could comment on that. Uh, or like if there's Germans in the chat, let me know what you guys use. I'd be actually interested because I have been only seeing Faber-Castell everywhere. So, and I have no problem with it. I love Faber-Castell, but I've never tried Prismacolors. Thank you, Christian. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to update the thumbnail now because I haven't done that yet. So we're gonna give it a go. Ah! All right, so kitty bear, we're gonna kitty 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 bear. Cat tea. Wah 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 wah. Okay, so we're gonna go. <laughs> I am German and I use pan pastel and Faber Castell. Yeah, me too. I love pan pastel. Do you like pan pastel? It's really, it's a really nice product. I don't use pastel as much, but that this product actually introduced me into the pastel world, to be honest with you, and I was like, whoa, I was really impressed with it. It's a, it's a lot of fun to use. Okay, so thumbnail should be changed now, and we're just gonna progress with the top of his head here. So again, like if you're looking at the actual head right now, you're gonna see a lot of white that's still coming through from the paper. And this typically um, will only go away if you keep adding layers of the color or drawing with a lot of pressure with your pencil or using an undertone to start with, um, like the Copic markers. Um, so this is a technique that I always use with watercolor as well. I will do the initial like face with watercolor and then I will add the additional details with my um, polychromos pencil crayons. And that's something that I've always done. And uh, yeah. So if you're finding that the white of the paper is shining through a lot, this is where you will need to blend the stuff together and you will need to layer. Um, and it's just a gradual progression as you proceed, but there's definitely ways to prevent the paper shining through, so. You ever drawn a Westie? What's a Westie? Is that a dog? <laughs> I'm sorry if that sounds ignorant. <laughs> a Westie. I think it's a dog, right? I don't know. 
Or is that a cat? I don't know what the Westie is. Okay, so we're gonna use the lightest worm grade that I have, worm grade number one, to do the very top of his head. He's got a little bit of a light shine on top of his head, so we're not gonna use a dark color for that. Thank you, Maddie. Bunny, why are you not doing live streaming when you're painting? <laughs> um. Well, that's the thing. I was actually thinking of live streaming this one right here that I'm painting, or this is watercolor with pencil crayon. You probably can't see as well. Um, I was thinking of live streaming that one yesterday night when I was doing it, but I was like, uh. It takes long in between for things to dry. That's the problem. Um, pencil, you can just go and you're like, yeah, let's go do it. But uh, yeah, watercolor is just very, it takes a while to dry. Thank you, Vlasta. Okay, here. Um, do you have a Persian cat? I don't have a Persian cat. I am very allergic to cats, actually. <laughs> Is this a subscriber's pet? Yep, it's a subscriber's pet. Ah. I probably didn't make it clear that I'm drawing a subscriber's pet. Maybe I should add it in the title of the name. Or the name of the title. Wow, I can't speak anymore. Okay, so. We want to really establish the differences here. So we're gonna outline the edges of the darkest parts of his fur again with the pencil crown. So here I'm using the worm gray number five. And this is where you can differentiate the different shadows. So just go ahead and do another round of dark. Did you go to Vienna once? No. I've never been to Vienna. I've never been to Austria yet. I would very much like to go. I'd like to go and see the royal castle. I don't know what it's called. Uh, Schönbrunn? Schön, Schönbrunn or something? I don't know. Would be so cool. What will you use to make the gray warmer? <laughs> um, I won't be using the uh, chow markers because I only have a really dark one. I'm, I'm using actually, as I'm drawing, I'm using warm gray. This is actually warm gray right here. If I were to use the cool gray, you would definitely see the difference already because it was, uh, yeah, it's much different, cool gray. But yeah, I am using warm grays right now. And to make it more of a beige tone, I would probably need to add some hints of brown in it. But I think we're going to keep it at this color because I think that, honestly, the image you guys see in the reference photo is just the lighting at this point. Uh, the actual- he, she had sent me another photo and it was- he looked very, very lighter in color. So this is really up to the, the shadow of the, the photo, unfortunately. Okay, so I think we're gonna progress with the mouth now. We're just gonna do the side cheek, make it darker. Then we're gonna go with the mouth. Yeah! This also needs to be much darker here. Oh, um, wait a second. So we're gonna use three. Have you tried to collab with other artists? No, I haven't. Not yet, anyways. Ooh. 
Okay, so we're gonna progress with the actual mouth. I think the mouth's gonna bring things together. Little mustache. Yeah. <laughs> you make me look at, at my sky. The cat's face looks like the sky right now, like literally the same. Do you mean like because it's gray? We have a actually like sunset happening outside. Have you ever drawn with Spectrum Noir brush pens? No, I haven't. I haven't at all. I haven't uh, reviewed or um, purchased Spectrum Noir Spe Spectrum Noir yet. I'm definitely looking into the possibility of, of buying some on Amazon. Because I can't buy them in the stores here, so I'd have to order it on Amazon, which is no problem. You guys got an alert saying I was live? Ha! <laughs> That's so cool. Nice! Oh my god. So again, like the the cat that I did the other the other stream, a few streams ago, I did another cat and I recorded the drawing process. So I did the exact same thing with this. And I actually drew with the regular graphite pencil instead of the blue Prisma color that I typically draw with. Um, so I'm hoping to upload the actual process on um, sometime during this upcoming week so you guys can see the approach that I took in terms of drawing the cat because this was actually quite quite difficult to get the body right so I hope that it turns out fine but yeah you can see I will upload the sketching process later on. Okay, so we're gonna sketch in the nose. Yeah! I haven't gotten the app, Arthur. Um, I know which app you're talking about, but I, I don't have it yet. I would like to use it. Maybe use it for a video. It's a pretty cool idea though, I think. Thank you, Tiger Music. <laughs> Dank memes. <laughs> yes, that's awesome, though. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Devin, <laughs> use the second option. I prefer if the dragon is looking at the cat. <laughs> this sounds much cuter. Ah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So if you guys are curious on how I'm drawing animal fur or like the technique that I typically use for animal fur, I did do a video, you guys can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, so I did a video on how to draw animal fur last month sometime. I actually can't even remember anymore when I did it. Uh, but I definitely did one. And I talk about all the techniques that I used, or that I typically use, when I draw the fur. And it's pretty much the same technique, whether you're drawing it with uh, like an animal with long hair or with short hair. I always use the same approach. 
The quality of the video is getting from good to bad then bad again. Ooh, I don't know. What's wrong, Ben? Because I'm seeing things pretty nicely from my perspective here. I want to be an artist like you, Kimberly. You just need to practice, girl. You just need to practice. Um, let's see. You just keep practicing and eventually things will happen. I think it's just a matter of practice, honestly. That's the only way you can get better is if you actually do it. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just checking something here. I'm actually really hungry already. I want some dinner. And it's only 4.30. Hi, the cat looks really cute. Thank you. What time is it here? It's 4.30. Alright, alright, alright. Let's continue. Okay, so we've got the little mouth here. The mouth is pretty, like, underneath his mouth looks very funny and actually very cute. So I'm very excited to do the draw this part. We're gonna start off with a lighter shade first and we're gonna just do the outline of where the mouth kind of splits, like the fur in the mouth where it splits. And then something that I would recommend you guys to do if, is if you're drawing animals, you can start off with the general sh like outline of where the shadows will be. And also the direction of the fur, like how, how the fur splits. You can already start to kind of sketch this in with the actual pencil crayon. And then you increase your shadows as you go by adding more layers. That's basically my technique. I don't know if this is what they teach you in school. I don't know if this is what they teach you in the books. This is just the way that I have been learning as well. So just learning myself. Okay. I can progress a little bit here. And now we start off with the warm gray number five and we do the same thing, but only where the shadows apply. So at this point, you really want to look at your reference photo to get the values right, to see where the values are and try to mimic it as best as you can. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> Hi from Toronto. Hi from my hometown. Woo. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so... What paper are you using? I am using this paper right here. So this is the brand I'm using, Dollar Rodney, and it's size A4, um, and it's fine grain, heavy weight, so it's a very nice thickness. I don't know if you can see that properly. It's very, it's very thick. Um, it's 120 pound in weight, and yeah, this is um, really wonderful paper for basically everything. Um, they say it's sketching paper, but I use it also for professional uh, portraits because the quality is really great, and it's a beautiful white color. It's not like off white or anything. It's a nice crisp white. Do you carry around a personal sketchbook? Yeah, it, it, more or less, like I do. It depends where I'm going. I typically can draw on anything though. Like I draw, I would maybe, if I'm feeling the need to draw, I will um, take printer paper, whatever, post-it notes, and go ahead and, and, and draw. Um, but yeah, I do, I do carry typically some stuff with me. I always have pencils with me and I was always have an eraser and I do carry a sharpener as well. I have it in my purse. I have it here at home and I also have it at work. So it's like no matter where I go I will have something with me. Um, it's just something that I've always done. So. <laughs> Do 
<laughs> do you draw in walls too? <laughs> you mean like on actual walls? Uh, <laughs> um, no, I don't draw on walls, but I would like to do like a wall mural inside my apartment. I just don't know if I'm allowed to. Like that'd be so cool, guys. That'd be so cool. Have you ever drawn a Maltese? No, I have not drawn a Maltese. I would definitely like to though. They're so they're so furry. Okay, so let's make these these whisker holes a little bit more prominent. Woo! Okay. Thank you. It's Naki. Thank you. I'm not sure, Nico, if that's possible. If there's like, I think I would have to give you like admin rights to my YouTube channel for that to be possible because Patrick can do it, like my husband can do it. But I don't want to give people some rights to my channel. I think that's pretty extreme. Um, typically, I try to like fix the title and the description myself before the stream. And if I forget anything, well, I forget things, so it's okay. I'll just add them in next time. No problem. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, wait. Uh, I want to use room gray number three. <laughs> you said the rule is left to right hand. Right? Blah. You said the rule is left to right for a right handed. Yeah, I did say that. Although it's not typically a rule, it's just something that I do. But in this case, I was just doing the, f the full head. Ah, you <laughs> You mean you're asking why I didn't start from the butt of the cat? <laughs> in this case, it's different. Because I actually, when I'm drawing animals, I like to focus on the face first, and then I progress with the body. Uh, and yeah, I guess sometimes the rule just doesn't apply to me where I start from the left side. Uh, but then in this case, it's my fault. I have to be careful, like super careful where my hand is at all times because it will smudge a little bit on my hand. What pencils are you using? I'm using Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, or colored pencils. You can find the... Oh, I don't think I put it in the description below this time. Oh, no! Yeah, it's just the Polychromos from Faber Castell. <laughs> His chin, though, I'm not really liking this. I'm gonna make it a bit darker. with this side okay like that so ah that's so cool I'm more of a graphics artist and we are soon having a renovation of our house so I'm going to doodle my whole wall in my room upstairs like I'm talking small details I'm so excited that's so cool that's really cool though. Oh, I would love to do that. I'm actually, we're actually planning on renovating our apartment too starting next month. Uh, so my studio is going to be completely changed. I'm going to have some really beautiful wallpaper uh, in the back. And I'm going for more of like a industrial Victorian uh, modernized kind of room i don't really know how to explain that properly but i have a vision and i would like to do it and uh i also would like to to paint on the wall but i, I don't know if that's gonna be allowed because we are renting the apartment but we're adding wallpaper so i don't even know if that's allowed to do but whatever it's so fluffy now <laughs> Did 
you go to the art store Curry's when you lived in Toronto? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I went to the art store in Cur Curry's. For sure, for sure. Oh, that's so funny. I used to go to York University, so that was the school I went to, and I studied my Bachelor's of Design um, at Sheridan uh, in Oakville, and then also uh, York University. So I would also spend time in, in Toronto, and I would often uh, definitely go to Curry's, <laughs> go to some art, art stores. It was my favorite thing to do. And the chat is so slow. I Shall I like uplift the chat right now? Because I think that there's not too many people watching tonight. So I think we can maybe fix the... Uh, let me see if I could even do that. If the, Once the live stream is live, if I could change it. So I'm going to make the chat not as slow right now. And if there's more people that come, then we're probably going to... Ah, it was 60 seconds per person! Holy smokes! Okay, so I I saved it. I removed that thing. Shoot, it's normally 30 seconds. Slow mode is off, chat away! There we go. Have fun, guys. And if it gets if it gets busier, we're gonna have to slow it down to 30 seconds. Sorry guys, I usually have it to 30 seconds, not like 60 seconds for whatever reason. I forgot to uh, do that. <laughs> How long will you stream today? I have no idea. Probably for a couple more hours and then I'm gonna be probably playing a couple games, video games, and then heading to bed, because I do have work tomorrow, so. Okay, so we're gonna be taking the warm gray number three. Warm gray number three, and we're gonna start extending. Ooh, I forgot to do the fur here behind his ear. Wait, wait a second. Thanks, Nicola. I can't draw eyes or lips any tips. Um, that is hard to explain without really showing. I would definitely recommend that you look online for sources to help you draw these sort of things. There's all kinds of cool references out there, guys. If you just Google, if you use Pinterest, you will find so many cool things to help you how to draw eyes and lips. That's, that's basically how I'm learning as well. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos on human body parts on how to draw specific things as well but I have to learn how to do it first or practice before I I preach it basically um, and yeah but I, I can't really give tips right now it's it's hard to explain without showing is Prisma color better than Faber Castell I cannot comment on that I haven't used Prisma color uh, colored pencils or pencil crayons yet. I've never used them ever, so I really can't say the differences, to be honest with you. But I am very happy with Faber Castell. Like, very happy. I pretty much preach Faber Castell quite often. Okay, so again, we're having the same challenge where this part of his face right here has to be darker, so we have to make the, the dark part meet the light part of his body. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to color in this aspect here of the shading and I'm going to be emphasizing his side of the face much more with the uh, warm green number five afterwards. So just so you guys know. <laughs> do you like graphite, graphite pencils or pencil crayons more? That's a difficult question. They both, they achieve different things. Uh, obviously colored pencils because they, it's color and it just, it's a different, a different approach. But I think that the pencil, like the graphite drawings, they're very elegant. They look very, very nice as well. But I like, I like uh, polychromos better. Okay, so 
The tricky part of his fur here is that there's lots of like breaks in between his fur. It's so long and fluffy. It looks a little bit weird. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Did you hear about the Women's March? Yeah! Yeah, I did, I did. I'm actually drawing this piece right here for, in like, support for the Women's March. Not just women in general, but it's just like, um, it's just like equality, you know, having a movement globally, worldwide. I think it's so cool, like it's so, it's just needed recently with all the hate from everything. Um, and, you know, talking about women's rights, talking about equal rights for, for all, for, for gender, for, uh, I don't know, the gay community, for different, uh, like, racials, for immigrants as well, like, equal rights for all, it's just, I mean, come on guys, we're just human beings all living on the same planet, and I think what happened yesterday was really, really cool, it was definitely needed. Is the music gone? I think it's uh it might be quiet okay i'm lifting up the music a little bit more let me know if that's too loud bring the men's march guys i don't think that the women's march was obviously the the intention of it was because politically wise there's a lot of things changing for or potentially changing for women's rights in america i i i'm not american i can't really say for what will be changing but you do realize worldwide there's a lot of women that are still oppressed depending on their families and religion and just cultural way of living. There's a lot of women out there that are oppressed and I think that a lot of us have went through a lot of things. People have told us things. We all can agree that you go through certain things in life and you don't get equal pay. You don't get uh, the recognition you deserve because you're a female. I think, I'm not saying I'm feminist or anything, it's just that's the reality of things and I think if, if you see it as a way of like equal rights for men and women that's that's what I would associate the women's march with rather than oh just woman just woman I think equal rights for both men and females that's all there is to it I think whatever ah is it too loud Okay, <laughs> I've adjusted the, the sound again, so it, sh it should be better. Thank you, Coropini. Coropini! Cheers, Sophia. Nico! Uh, to be honest with you, that's not looking at things realistically, I find. I think, um... There's a lot of women out there that do the exact same jobs, and... They might not do heavy lifting because we're not capable. I'm sure there's women out there that are capable of heavy lifting um, jobs, but anything that's, like, seen as men jobs, I firmly believe that we can do it as well and because you can lift something heavier doesn't mean you should get more pay than us that doesn't make any sense and most of these jobs we're talking about here they're regular like office jobs that you know i don't think it's the same like i think germany does a fantastic job at equal pay 
Um, I've heard people say that it's also still the case in some places, but Germany is pretty, pretty fair in recognizing the different genders and recognizing, you know, just payment, um, like, that it's equal. And I've had, there's a huge difference between female and male bosses, to be honest with you. Um, I've had both, and the male bosses, they're just very, you have to handle them differently, and they handle you differently than the male co-workers, and it's just frustrating in that sense as well. Um, but I'm very fortunate to have three female bosses, and we have all equal pay, and it's very um, equal. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that the issue is very real. It's very, very real. But the same amount of job, this is a different topic. The same amount of job. If you're if you're not doing the same amount of job, this is where promotional tiers come into play. So if you're having like let's say you're doing more you have more responsibilities, you have more work to do, that doesn't like that means that's like manager position. Um, obviously there's different payments for that. Um, definitely. No matter if you're female or male, I think that obviously that's that's part of the thing. Uh, but lifting something heavy for example that's not doing more work that's just the job that you applied for whether i'm sitting there doing mathematics or i'm sitting there you know doing a marketing um, promotional advertisement campaign um that's a lot of mental capacity versus heavy lifting so i think in that sense it doesn't that's not a really good argument to be honest with you <laughs> i don't know DHJ Horses, you can contact me, info at brushesandbunnies.com. That's my email address. And I will, um, with your requests, you can definitely send me your requests and I will get back to you with prices and sizes that I offer right now. And then, yeah, we can make a compromise as well. And also, just to bring back that point, I know it's like, this channel is not like political channel or anything, and I don't want to get into debates and whatnot, because uh, this is a free space for like talking about um, art, but um, getting equal pay like for the same type of job, they'll get paid same amount, like, okay, so you're saying if you're working as the same type of worker, let's say in a warehouse, you got to do same amount of job to get paid equally. Obviously, but that argument is just like, if you're looking at it from a marketing point of view, you're in a, sitting in a job. I like to take the advertisement perspective because this is where most of the issue is. Um, typically, like males will be paid more because they will, um, it's just the mentality of, of, you know, doing a better job. They can think logically, whatever. Um, and this is ha this goes way back to like the mentality from the 40s, from the 50s. And it's, that's actually the truth. and. Um, you're not doing anything different than what we can do. We can also do the same type of job. Heavy lifting is also the same thing. If you're working in a warehouse, um, I expect to get the same amount of pay. There are tools to help you heavy lift boxes nowadays. So if I can operate a crane or uh, not a crane, but operate a, like one of those devices that you lift boxes up, um, as well as a man, I expect to get paid the same just because I have a different different body parts doesn't mean that I can't do it. And I might be the She-Hulk, you guys don't know, you know? Just saying. Alright, so this fluff is getting kind of annoying actually. Hmm. How do you make money other than this passive YouTube income? Um, right now I'm not making any money apart from like what is coming in with commissions and uh, YouTube income. 
Um, apart from that, I have a full-time job as a project manager, so I can sustain myself pretty well and I could buy my art supplies myself and I have no issue with that. So it's not like I'm like depending on like art to survive. Um, right now, this is just like considered a hobby of mine, so. Can I get a ballpark for a color of two dogs, heads, beagles, and a puggle about the same size as you're doing now? So this size here is A4. Whoa, that's a big, that's a hefty request. Wait, so two dogs, two dog heads, one beagle, and one puggle. Okay, so yeah, head and shoulders is the cheaper variety. It depends if you want pencil drawing or if you want like an actual colored. Um, so like pencil drawing, we do I do graphite work, and I also do, uh, which is black and white, and then I do colored, which is what you are seeing now. Uh, this typically is not a price difference, but you can also request like mixed media with watercolor, so this will be a difference in price. The cheaper variety is obviously the pencil drawing. Head and shoulders, um, on this size, I would say, oh gosh, I can't even remember my prices off the top of my head. I have it somewhere. Send me an email, please. Send me an email with your request. I will send you because I have the the sheet of prices saved somewhere, and I, it's in my on my website, uh, but it's not online yet, so I have to look at it up. It's it's in WordPress, uh, but let me know. Send me a request. I think it would be less because um, it's also extra for the pet for two pets. So per pet, you will you will pay an extra fee. Typically, these prices are for one pet only. Um, so yeah. I'm really hungry, guys. Okay, so here is where I want to make like the little breaks in his fur where his paws will be. Yeah, I want, I want food. I don't have carrots. I made carrot soup yesterday, like carrot soup, carrot and potato. Uh, I don't have food anymore. I have some stew, leftover stew though, but I have to cook it on the stove top because I don't have a microwave. Thank you, Feebster. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're eating a carrot. Lucky. I think this is really hard here. That the fur that's on the side is... It's hard. Stream is only 13 minutes long. It shouldn't be 13 mi minutes long. Pretty sure it was like the full live stream. Let's see. Let's see. I'm checking the video right now. <sighs> it's taking forever to load. Okay. No microwave, um, because it was really old. 
The live stream is 13 minutes long. What is that? Why is the live stream 13 minutes long? <gasps> what? What happened? Okay, clearly it didn't save properly. I'm so oh, shoot. Does that mean I lost the entire footage? Oh, that sucks. What? <gasps> what? Why did it not save like? Properly. What? It's an hour? And I see it 13 minutes as well. What? That is so weird. I never noticed it. This The live stream was definitely a couple hours long. It was like three hours or so. That's really bad. So I don't have the foot. I was planning on... Because uh, I don't save the live streams on my computer when I live stream. Ugh. <sighs> I was planning on just downloading it from YouTube. I can't do the video now I wanted to do because I wanted to do a separate coloring video to explain the coloring process I took for the cat. And uh, yeah, apparently it's no longer valid. Uh, it's, uh... A couple days ago was the full stream. Is that, did you guys notice that as well? Was the full stream? Wait, is the time changing for you guys? That's weird. That's really weird. That doesn't make sense to me. La 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 la. That's so weird. What? Is YouTube like penalizing me for doing too many streams? I don't know. <laughs> What's your opinion on digital art? Yeah, I think digital art is a really cool way of, of drawing actually. I have much respect for people who do digital art. I think it's actually quite difficult to get into. At least that's what I think from my <laughs> from my perspective. Uh, digital art is really cool. I think it's the new way of, of, of drawing, obviously. Uh, but it's important to note that it's just like, you don't want to... Like, traditional art is very um, important to study as well. So, not necessarily study, but just to, to know how to do... It'd be a shame if traditional art were to just stop existing because of computers. Same with books, I think. You know, you got digital books like ebooks and whatnot with your kindle and then you have like the actual books at the library i have to be honest with you i really like my kindle and i really like reading digital or ebooks <laughs> it's just more convenient for me uh, but yeah i think digital art is really cool and i have a lot of respect for people who do it because i wish i could also It's easy to do. Uh, it, yeah. I mean, it, to me it looks very difficult. I could probably give it a try though. I think that would be a really interesting challenge for myself. Just record myself doing like... <laughs> attempting to do digital art <laughs> with the skills I know in, in a traditional sense. I think that'd be funny. Don't know. Gosh, this cat is something else, eh? He's really flurry, fur, furry, furball. I think I have to update the thumbnail, guys. Okay, so let's update the thumbnail. Thumbnail! And the eyes of this cat, I think, will be blue, because the actual... They are blue originally. Mm. All right, so thumbnail. Cut. Mm. 
Hi, Yuriza. Yuriza? I don't know. I never know how to pronounce your name. Okay, so. <gasps> ah, I got the hiccups! Okay, so let's change the thumbnail. Oh, he looks so fluffy in the thumbnail. Is the quality of the stream really bad? For me, it looks okay. There seems to be issues generally with YouTube today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, wait. I'm going to open up the stream on my cell phone. Let's see. Videos. Wait, what the hell? <gasps> it looks really bad on my live stream, on my cell phone. Look. Well, you can't really see it, but it's really blurry. Why? Do you guys have good quality or not? <gasps> what is going on? Wait, let me ask my husband. Let me ask my husband. Okay. Can you check the live stream? Is it bad quality? On my computer, it's good quality. On my cell phone, it looks really bad. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what the husband says. That really, that sucks. That's really weird. It's, is it quality? Hi, Oliver! Guys, look! Oh, my rabbit just ran away. He knew I was gonna show show you guys. Show you guys him. Did you just do something? It turned better now. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Maybe my husband's, like, illegally downloading stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Downloading something, maybe. I don't I have no idea. Okay, let's start with the itty-bitty baby paws. I think he answered though. Okay, so it seems to be a good quality now. I don't know what's going on. I love my drawing tablet. I just got it for Christmas and it's awesome. It's just like regular art, but, but with no mess. <laughs> oh, well, I like, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, if you guys could see my table, it's full of art supplies everywhere. So if I were to just do digital art, I feel like it, it would, like everything would be so clean and, and nice and, you know, I wouldn't have too much uh, clutter everywhere. But yeah, unfortunately with art, like traditional art, you have a lot of stuff everywhere. I think it's totally normal. Oh my gosh. Would be nice though. Maybe that's a big plus side to digital art. Now the paws here are a little bit interesting. I'm just gonna go with the flow here. Um, okay guys, I think my rabbit's choking. One second. I'd be- two seconds. I don't know what my rabbit was doing. He was like... Oh no! No, no, 
know, he seems okay. I just checked on him and um, like literally two seconds ago, he made like a noise, like, <laughs> like choking noise, like that. I went to check on him and he seems to be fine. I don't know. Can you check on Oliver, please? He like made a choking noise. He's just growling because you know him? No, he made like actual like, <laughs> like, like a yowl. Now I'm concerned. <laughs> he seems to be fine. Is he okay? Can you can you check to see if he was eating or something? Maybe eating. He something? was cleaning and get some fur. Do you think? Well, there's a lot of fur. Here. I gotta brush him. Also, I can't even get out. Yeah. Like all this winter fur out. Yeah. He seems to be good. He seems to be fine, but he literally made a noise that was like. <laughs> Like I think he was stretching when he yawns he sometimes does that. No, th I've never heard him make that noise before. Well, giving me bunny kids is why I stretch his bum, so he's fine. I've actually never heard- I've never heard a bunny make that noise before. That was really strange. Oh, my heart. Rabbits can't vomit, so that can't be the problem. Yeah, exactly. I think he's shedding right now, like his winter fur. Um, he's going through one of those shedding phases and... He might have been cleaning himself and gotten fur in his throat and was like coughing it out or something. I don't know. To me, that's what it sounded like, but I can't be certain. Okay. <sighs> My heart is pounding, guys. My baby! Little baby bear! My bunnies always snort. Yeah, <laughs> he growls. He likes to growl. <coughs> you got a treat? Can I show? Do you guys see him? Try to distract him. He's getting a treat. Oh, <laughs> oh, baby, are you okay, sweetheart? You think he's okay? No. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's Patrick. <laughs> uh, my poor sweetheart. No, he wants more. No, he wants <laughs> no. He gets some later. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. We should bring him in bed later. Like when we go to bed, yeah? Have to brush him. Check his teeth and stuff. Are you planning on getting more animals? Yeah, we are. <laughs> I hope to get a second rabbit. <laughs> oh, shuts. Look at him. Oh, he's running around. Uh, uh. He realizes there's no more treats. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Little teddy bear. Can you pick him up? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gonna kill me. Yeah, no, no. No, they were asking if we could pick him up. No, uh, I would not. Oh, he was Do you, what are you doing, baby? He will like run away if we try to pick him up, so we have to try to be very careful with him because he's uh he's a little bit antisocial. <laughs> he wants to be pet once every three months. Yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> no, he thinks he's getting a Thank bigger treat when he goes in the cage. It's oh, not, that's so sad. Yet. But that's what happens when you give him treats randomly when you condition him on going into the cage when he gets treats. And then he's pissed. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, so we do this thing before bedtime um, that we conditioned him or we trained him that we give him a couple treats. So like little, little fruit treats. And when he runs into his cage, like usually uh, it's a sign that he needs to go back into his cage. Because when he jumps back into his cage, he will get a big treat, like a, like apple or something like apple slice. Um, so it's like little treats here and there. And then we try to lure him from under the couch, for example, and then he'll come out and play a bit. And then 
um, he'll he'll jump into his cage and he'll wait for the big the big fruit treat. And uh, he thinks now, because we gave him a couple pieces of, of like raisins, that he he's waiting for his in his cage to get a the big treat. But it's not bedtime yet. Not bedtime, baby. I feel so bad. Thank you, Ty 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 Na Ty Ty. I can't pronounce your name. Ty Na Maria. Yeah, exactly. When you pick them up from the very top, they think they're being taken from like by like a hawk or something. Um, so typically, I I go down on their level and I pick them up. Um, in a different manner. So they see me approaching and stuff because they're like, oh my god! Imagine getting picked up from like the back and you're just suddenly in the air like poor thing it would be so scary i don't know what i'm going to name it if i get another rabbit um i have to see the rabbit's face before it's very special like it, it needs to see the face and maybe spend a few days with it before you name it so we're just waiting for the the new baby to be born maybe like the Rabbit, we have to look at different breeders because I think our breeder is no longer in business. She's not answering our phone calls or our emails, um, which kind of sucks to be honest with you. What kind of bun bun? I would get the same type of rabbit that I have now, which is the Holland Lop. Um, I wouldn't get any other breed of rabbit, to be honest with you. <gasps> there you go, the hiccups. Uh, I really like the Holland Lops. They're so sweet. Really sweet natured creatures. And like these ones here, they're bred, like they're bigger, so they're the size of a cat, I would say. Like he, you you saw him now, he looks a bit small. Um, his brother was like this this big, like really, really big rabbits. I prefer the bigger ones than the smaller ones. Um, and he just walks around like a dog. He's litter trained like a cat. He goes, does his business in a cat litter box. And it's just, yeah, it's really nice. It's always a good time. I've trained them for that. He basically can go anywhere around the house as well, so it's just like a dog. Yeah, dwarves. Dwarves are so sweet as well. I wouldn't have a dwarf though. I think I prefer the big boys. I, one day I really want to get a huge rabbit, like the ones with the big ears, like the German ones. Um, that you can actually already adopt some like those breeders that have these these big lop ears They're like bigger than dogs. They're huge um, And you can actually get some in Germany already Like those breeders that breed these types of rabbits and um, Yeah, that's that's in the end. That's that's like My dream to not have a dog to have a giant rabbit dog <laughs> Question, will you do a horse? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, eventually I, I will definitely be doing a horse. Mm. I think that would be um, interesting. You guys would probably see me fail if I were to draw a horse now, because I, I have no idea how to draw horses. Okay, so I really want to darken up these, these paw. This part is not dark enough. The part is too short. Okay, I'm then going to see once I color like approximately up to here, we're gonna see exactly how short like the paw is. It might be too short, I'm not sure yet. I think it looks okay, but I'm not, many people have been saying it's, it looks too short. And then others have been saying it looks fine, so I have no idea.
Hi from Lithuania, hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I, I think I bit my lip. Do you guys have this issue too in the winter time where the air is dry and your lips crack a lot and they start to bleed? I, got, I have a, oh, I have an injury on my lip right now. Kind of sucks. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay, we're advancing slowly. Nah. I also have the issue with my hands as well. They get so dry. I have to use so much cream on my hands. But it's funny because it's only my hands and it's only my lips. Like, I don't have the issue on my face. I don't have the issue anywhere else in my body. It's just like my hands get, ugh. I hate the feeling so much. Especially if I wash my hands and it gets so crack and dry and I'm like, ugh, like I, ugh, I hate it so much. So I have to like carry around some really intense lotion all the time. But it only happens in the winter. Like summertime, it's fine. Okay, wait. This is two and this is gray. Cool gray. I'm mixing up my warm and my cool grays at this point. <laughs> I don't even care. It's just... We're just gonna do it. Yeah, compound, your lip is bleeding. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it. Ah! <laughs> now that I think about it, you're a Canadian that is half French that lives in Germany. Wow, that's confusing. I'm not half French, yo. I'm full French. I'm 100% French. That lives in Germany, yeah. <laughs> what media? Should you use? Um, use pencil crayon because that's my go-to. Pencil crayon. I love pencil crayons. If you don't have pencil crayons, then use um, marker. Marker is also really fun to draw with. <laughs> my life is in your videos, live streams. <laughs> Why? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are drawing with me. Draw with me! Drawing is really, really uh, fun. I quite enjoy it. Especially when we're drawing together. Do you guys want to do a Q&A right now? I could do a Q&A. Because the chat is free rolling. There's no restrictions. You guys can ask me questions. Maybe we can do a Q&A. So ask me some questions. Anything. 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 Um, and I will try to answer as many as I can. Your lip might be a little big. <laughs> you, th you think my lips are big? <laughs> I don't have like... Like, uh, what's her name? Kylie Jenner lips. <laughs> but thank you. Do, were you saying my lip is big? Now I'm confused. Isn't that what girls want though, is big lips? Okay, so let's see if we can extend the paw. I'm gonna- no, let's give it a try. Let's give it a go here. Give it a whirl. Gosh, I'm really bad with cat paws. I- Okay, wait. <laughs> Whoa! You guys have a lot of questions. Whoa. Okay, first one. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a younger brother. Uh, but he lives back in Canada. Jesus Christ. If it was a life and death situation, and you have to pick, which one of these would you choose to do for the rest of your life? Life and death. Why, Arthur? Why you gotta be so dramatic? Um, digital art or graphite art? I would choose graphite. Come on, come on, come on. Graphite is 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 my my thing. Do you like crochet? I'm crocheting right now. I do like it. I've um, 
I mean, I like it. F I respect people that do it because I think it's really cute. You guys can make some such cool things, um, but I can't for the life of me do it. So I don't know. I maybe I have to learn it, but I like I like the crochet things. I've seen some people do really cool things, like really amazing things. So I respect it. I respect it. Copic or touch? Copic. Um. Yeah, if you guys want to know why, uh, my reasons are listed in the videos that I posted versus like, I forget what it was, Touch versus Copic video. And I talk about the differences and like what I what I really like about it. I like Touch as well. Um, I think for beginners it's really nice, but there's just a whole different experience with the Copic markers that you will only understand once you actually use them and you compare both brands next to each other. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, they're a little, they're expensive for a reason, so... I think, I think. Okay, whoa. What's your favorite media? <laughs> uh. <laughs> to look at visually, I like oil. To do myself, I like, um. Because I'm going through different phases, that's the problem. Right now I'm liking pencil drawing a lot. Future-wise, or in the past it was watercolor, and yeah, now I'm just kind of growing as pencil drawing artist. Um, it changes, it really changes. What is my husband's name? My husband's name is Patrick. Le Patrick. But I like to call him Schatzi. So for those of you Germans in the crowd, you guys know what Schatzi means. It means like, Schatz means treasure, and then Schatzi is like the cute name for like the cute form of like treasure, I think. Um, so you're literally calling your significant other like little treasure <laughs> or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, Germans. Um, but yeah. I also call, call him Paddy Boo. Paddy Boo? Like on our wedding rings, actually, I have his name inscribed in my ring, and it's Patty Boo, like Patrick, but with Boo at the end, because that's what I always call him, Patty Boo, and he calls me Shatsi Boo, and I call him Patty Boo. So that's what we call each other. <laughs> Bye, Golden Freddy girl. How many languages do you speak? I speak three. French, English, and German. You speak German. Are you German? Nope. I am Canadian. Do you have any other pets other than Ollie? I had, yes, I, I used to. Right now, currently, no. Sad face. I'm really sad about that. I wish I had another one. I had another rabbit. His name was Max. He was my pride and joy. He was my little fat seal baby. Because uh, he was he was gray, he was full gray, and he looked like a fat seal. And he would sleep like a fat seal, and he would always come to me to get cuddles and stuff like that. He passed away in September. He was he had just turned four years old. And we were in Canada visiting at the time, so he was getting babysat, and he passed away. That was hard, because I couldn't see him. Uh, but we've been wanting to get a second rabbit since um, since then, so we're just looking to find a good breeder. Uh, the pencils that I'm using in this drawing is Faber-Castell Polychromos. Ah, this like pattern on his paw is so hard. Okay, so in this case, when you feel like it's too hard to do, you just take it easy and you really assess the detail, the level of detail. You assess each and every line because this is where it gets complicated. So take it one step at a time. And that's the way I usually break it down because if there's too many like breaks in the fur, you're like, oh my gosh, like where do I start? Thing is, easier said than done. Ah! <laughs> this is 
is not looking like a paw. I'll live. <laughs> I'll live ski. <laughs> I have to wait. I have to wait to see. Um, once I see the rabbit's face, I'll know. Because with Oliver, I knew exactly what his name would be. Um, and it was like, oh, like it's an Oliver. It's an Oliver. I actually want to show you guys Oliver's baby photo. Ah, where did I post it? Oh, it was so cute. Wait a second. Actually, I might have it on my phone. Oh, I'm going to show you his baby photo. Oh, I love a baby. Little baby. Oh, the baby. Wait, I think I have it on my Instagram. <laughs> oh. Come on, yo. Come on. Bun buns. Bun buns. No, oh, I forget. Um, yeah. Whoa, I'm trying to find him. Okay, I guess it's not important, but... <laughs> it was so sweet. No. Also, here was my other... Here, this was my other rabbit who passed away in September. He was really chubby and he was so cute. He was so sweet. He was the sweetest baby ever. And then the other rabbit. Oh gosh. Thought I had posted his picture. Yeah, here are his baby photos. That was how he looked like. So when I first saw him, I was like, that's an Oliver. He looks like a little Oliver. Like, look at him. He looks so cute, like a little teddy bear. So yeah, they're little baby Oliver. So once I see his baby photo, I'll be like, yeah. I'm gonna name it that, but I, th I have thought of Olive. <laughs> so fluffy, yeah, he was really fluffy. Such a cute baby. How many rabbits have I had in my life? I've had three. Their names were um, Lily. She's back in Canada. She's still alive. She's six years old. Um, unfortunately, I got her before I knew I was ever going to be moving across the world. I actually got her not even knowing. Like I hadn't met Patrick yet, so I had no idea. And she couldn't come over um, because of the strict laws with rabbits. Like they consider them rodents and um, they need to be quarantined and they need to, there's all kinds of difficult processes and the flight over is not good for their little hearts because they do have little hearts and she's a dwarf she's really small and um yeah i just couldn't bring her over unfortunately so she's with my parents and um i have i had max who passed away and i have oliver so that's how i've only had three Where do you live? I live in Berlin. When did you really start getting into art? Really, when I started to really like become serious about art? Uh, this was about two years ago. Two years ago. Gosh, this cat, this cat paw right here is awkward. Awkward. Definitely awkward cat paw. <laughs> I don't like drawing paws. I love paws, but I can't I can't draw it. I just moved to Germany also. Yeah, cool. Germany is really cool. I really like it. I love I love uh love Germany. 
I'm really excited because I hope I hope that my parents my parents are deciding like they're they're thinking about coming over in summertime or springtime, which is very soon actually. Yes, for spring. Also talking about spring. Um, I was very pleased to see when I went to the grocery store yesterday that they are already having Easter chocolate in the stores ah! Which means it's almost Easter, which is my favorite time of year because bunnies and second of all That means there's springs right around the corner guys Even though we are still in January uh, Spring is around the corner and I'm so excited a couple more months to go guys And I can finally get back out there start metal detecting start going to see abandoned places again Ugh. Not as awkward as the battle scar. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> Ode to the battle scar. Yeah, the battle scar was uh, something else. It was something else, eh? Well, battle scar was funny. Yay, Easter chocolate! Where were you born? I was born in Quebec, Quebec City, in Canada. Welcome to Quebecois. Je suis a Quebec. Quebecways, just Quebecways. Ooh, talking about Quebec. After this live stream, the first thing I'm doing is I'm baking these cookies that are French Canadian Quebecois recipe. Um, it's something that I used to like eat a lot in my childhood, and I found the recipe yesterday, and I'm so excited because I have all the ingredients. And I was like, oh my god, last time I ever had these was when I was 14 years old. Oh, uh, my mouth is drooling. It's like a cookie with. Um, it's like a brown sugar frosting. I don't really know how to describe it. It's very, very sweet, um, and it's very, very delicious. And the, the frosting dries, like it gets hard, and it's like a thick, like, brown sugar taste. Like caramel, almost. Oh. Oh. So good! What is your favorite month and why? <laughs> okay, I might be a little bit biased with this answer, but... My favorite month is October. Why? Because first of all, it's my birthday in October. I think my rabbit's making those noises again. And second of all, um, it's fall time, which is my favorite time of the year. I love fall. I love pumpkins. I love pumpkin pie. I love anything to do with pumpkins. I'm a basic white girl in that terms. Like white, like pumpkins, everything. Um, I love and I also like the changing of the colors like it gets very colorful that time of year I like October is the best Thank you Ozzy and Oktoberfest right right <laughs> Although I don't celebrate it as much anymore because um, Watching people get drunk and throwing up everywhere doesn't really appease to me. Uh, it's not something that I typically like to do. I'm a little bit antisocial in that respect, so... Have you ever had a döner? Oh my gosh, yes. The first thing I ever ate when I came to Germany was to try a döner. And yeah, that was really, really, really good. Props to Turkish... Uh, the Turkish people for... for giving us the dinner because oh and the kebab kebab it's really really tasty do you remember those maple sugar cookies mm, yes every time i go to canada yes i oh. oh my god so yesterday i was looking at french canadian recipes right so i found all these things that i used to eat like pecan pie sugar pie um, these like ice cream cones with maple maple syrup inside, like hard maple syrup. Also like um, fudge, a lot of fudge. Um, uh, what is it called? Like maple syrup fudge. Um, it's like, it's not fudge. It's like, I only know the French word. It's like sugar cream. It's like hard blocks of sugar. Kind of like a caramel taste, but it's very soft and it melts in your mouth. And I was like, <gasps> An apple pie. I can't buy this here, guys. Why did you move to Germany? I moved because I've always wanted to go to Europe. And also because I had... Um, my boyfriend was living in Germany. So I was like, okay. I'ma come with you. I'ma come. I'ma come see you. And that's what I did. I just moved to Germany. I moved to Germany primarily for love. 
love. Do you miss poutine? Yeah, I do miss poutine. Um, sometimes I try to recreate poutine here. I have, I can, you know, I have a deep fryer. I can make French fries, no, no problem. Um, fresh cut French fries. I can also, um, like, the problem is that we don't have the, the, the cheese, right? The cheese is not available here. Like, the, the poutine cheese, which is like the, they say it's mozzarella, but it's, it's squeaky, like, mozzarella, right? It's like, I don't know how to describe it. Um, and I can't get the same equivalent here, so it's very it's very hard to make it taste the same, and, uh, as well as gravy. We don't have the same types of gravy in Germany. It's just different. You, you can't really create it. The cheese curds, yeah. I miss it. I miss it so much. There's a lot of things I actually miss with the food. Um, you don't realize, actually, when you leave, because you're just like, okay, we don't have traditional foods, really, in Canada. When you come to Germany, it's like, bam, sauerkraut, bam, wurst, like sausages, like, bam, like, currywurst in Berlin, and there's all kinds of different traditional meals in Germany, and then I keep thinking, huh, what do we have in Canada? Um, and it's all diet, like, diabetes food, and, and like, artery-clogging food, and it's not that much, there's, we don't have much culinary gourmet stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> I can't really recreate as much here. I'm eating cookies, jealous. Yes, very. I'm very jealous. What is your favorite color and high from Denmark? My favorite color is purple and high from Berlin. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Cheese is life, yeah, definitely. Do you love ice cream? Yeah! I do like ice cream. I haven't been able to eat dairy um, for like five years, and recently, up until like seven months ago, I started to incorporate it back in my diet. And when I first moved to Germany, I wasn't able to eat or try out the, the German, like, the, the yogurts, the ice cream, um, the milk, like, everything dairy, like, dairy products in general, I wasn't able to have. Because A, it was so much richer than what I'm used to in Canada. It tastes so different, it tastes so much better. And also, um, I was getting a lot of stomach cramps, so only recently have I been trying to eat, or I've been able to eat ice cream, and oh, oh. like, I'm sure I gained, like, 20 pounds just because I've been trying everything. I do love ice cream. I love the chocolate ice cream. It's so good. So good. Do you like sushi? Nope. I used to. Uh, funny enough, I love fish. I love, like, tuna. I often eat tuna for, for lunch. Uh, but sushi? I don't as much. Okay, so we have to kind of differentiate here the different paws. There's two paws. Weird question, but do you smoke? I don't smoke. I'm actually allergic to the uh, cigarette smoke. Like it gets, I get very like asthmatic and um, sneezy and whatnot. Don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke. <laughs> In general, I don't smoke. Do you love macaroni and cheese? Oh, hell yeah. I do like macaroni and cheese. I do like a macaroni. It's one of my guilty pleasures. Every time I go to Canada, that's the first thing I eat. Macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. <laughs> it's so gross, but it's so good. I love it. Have you had Kinder Eggs? Of course. Of course I have had Kinder Eggs. Oh my gosh. Kinder chocolate is the best chocolate I've ever had. 
honestly, like every time I've, I've eaten chocolate here in Germany, it was either Milka, but then even then, Kinder always wins over anything. Like the, the Schoko bonds, like the little like Kinder egg, like, you know, like the little egg shaped chocolates with nuts inside. Um, the Kinder eggs themselves, and there's other products that they have. I can't remember what they are. Like sh uh, like Kinder Regal is also really good. Oh yeah. Can you make it so we can post things quicker? It's already set to that. I've removed the chat ban or the um the time slot for the chat. Oh, what's it called? Chat restriction. I've removed it already. Oh, Ben and Jerry's, yeah, of course. I love Ben and Jerry's. Bueno, yeah, the bueno also. Okay, here's the thing, guys. I do have a food allergy. Um, I don't like talking about it because it's kind of embarrassing and because everyone's like, oh, like you're just doing that to get attention. I have, um, I have severe problems with uh, eating gluten. Um, and it's been like this for six years now. <laughs> and uh, I cannot eat the things I used to eat, uh, which really sucks. So all of this food right now is making me like turn into a savage. Like this food talk is turning me savage. But like I cannot eat bueno, for example. Um, like macaroni and cheese, I have to eat specific macaroni and cheese. But luckily there's a lot of products now that are coming out that I'm able to eat. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of foods that I do miss. I really do miss. Um, that's why with the Ben and Jerry's, I can only eat, like, I used to love the cookie dough one, the cookie dough with, with brownies as well, but if I were to eat that now, I would get sick. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's a bit, it's a bit shitty. Sorry for swearing, but yeah. Like, Ferrero Rocher also, I can't eat that. <laughs> and do you like German yogurt? Yeah. I like, um, yogurt. Y yogurt with the with the eka. I don't know if you familiar. Oh, it's so good. The strawberry one with the chocolate is so tasty. I came in late. Welcome, Alex. I'm using different varieties. I'm using a mixture of cool gray and warm gray colors, and it's um all kinds of different varieties. Like number one, number two, number three, up till number five, and I have a number six as well. So I'm using a mixture of different things. Oh, you're allergic to fish? Oh, I don't know how I would deal with that. Fish, I, I eat fish quite often. That really sucks. Like seafood, like sh shellfish or like, like seafood in general. That sucks. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Gosh, I want some food now. You guys really made me hungry. Okay, so we're gonna continue the fluff on this side. And I think for the pause, we're just gonna leave it at that for now. I could probably maybe darken this part here much better. Um, but I really want to progress with the body because I am getting very hungry and I think I'm gonna end the stream once we finish the actual cat. So This is just a practice mode or practice drawing for today and then we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna move on with the body now. Let's just add a bit more detail on this paw Have you ever have you been to any castles if so how many or which ones? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny question for me because if you don't know who I like if you haven't heard me talk about it before I am a huge castle uh, fan or I don't know how you call like aficionado or like someone who's very dedicated or passionate about visiting castles this is me um, I've been to many many castles in Germany I have a book it's like my bible it's this giant book of all the castles that are currently in Germany and um, where they're located and how you can visit and where you have to drive and stuff like that and every single like every year I pick maybe three of them just randomly select them and I'm like okay Shots, my husband, I point, I'm like, this is where I want to go, so take me there. <laughs> we go on a road trip. So that's what uh, that's what we do during the summertime mostly. 
I've been to all kinds. There's too many to name, honestly. But it, something I want to do with this channel is also incorporate these vlogs where I'm visiting these, like, huge, like, royal castles and talking about the history a little bit. And, like, I like to look at, like, the dark side of things as well. Like, if there's a dungeon, like, what bad things happened on the property. Kind of get into the paranormal as well. It's something that I'm really interested in. So, yeah, I'm a huge castle fan. <laughs> Oh, Ugna, I'm allergic to a lot of things like cold weather, my face starts itching and then it burns and it hurts. Yeah, I have a cousin who's like that as well. As soon as she steps out into the cold, her face turns red. Like every skin, part of the skin that's exposed to outside, it turns red and starts to itch like a giant rash and gets swollen. And it's an allergy to cold. I've never heard that before. Like it's so incredible, um, really horrible, but I've never, I didn't even know that could exist. From where you brought your pencils? I bought my pencils at my local art store here in Berlin. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, Faber-Castell Polychromos, but you can buy them online as well, like uh, Amazon, for example. But typically your art store should have them. And if they don't have Faber-Castell, they probably have like Prismacolor, for example. Have you been to the Frankenstein castle? I have not. Is this in Germany? I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I have not. I'm gonna Google it. It seems very familiar. Where is it located? It has to be in Germany because this is actually a German story. Darmstadt. No, I haven't. <gasps> uh. Ah. Okay. I haven't, but I have to go now. I haven't been. Have you been? That's awesome. Do you like haagen ice cream? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, my friend has celiac disease, so she can't have any gluten at all. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. I don't have that. That's not what I have. I have um, just a very sensitive stomach to many things. Um, it's just like, it's just, it triggers a lot of, um, it's an intolerance I have. And it's not only that, it, there's other things as well. Um, sometimes it's with dairy, but mostly lately it's been fine. Um, also sometimes if I eat like broccoli, for example, then my stomach really, really hurts and I get really bad symptoms. So it's just like, it's like random foods that I just avoid. And ever since I've avoided it, I've been feeling so much better. Uh, mentally and physically, so yeah. How old are you? I'm 25. Yeah. I'm drawing with colored pencils. How do I blend it a little bit? If you're wanting to blend, there's specific tools. You can also get these paper blending stubs, stu stubs, stumps, um, which is just paper, and you can use a tip and just kind of blend in the colors together. You can also blend with, um, there's a blending pencil, there's a, you can also blend using the white pencil crayon. So if you take the white pencil crayon and you just kind of go over some of these spots in the, in the fur, for example, you can blend the tones, um, nicely as well. Oh gosh. I just chucked my pencil crayon across the table. I have really bad butter fingers. Um, there's all kinds of methods. I would suggest Googling and seeing what works for you. I'll be doing a video on how to blend pencil crayons in the near future for sure. Um, because it's an interesting topic. I get many questions about that. Thanks, Alex. Bye. Why do we have allergies? It's not fair. Yeah, I know. It's not It's not fair at all. It's horrendous. It's not fun to have allergies. I think everyone has a specific allergy. If you don't have an allergy, oh, I don't even know what to say. Like, that's good genes, I guess. Because I'm also allergic to dust, which is the most horrible allergy to have, I think, because dust is everywhere. No matter how much you clean, it will always be there. You need to have specific, like, 
dust sheets or um, vacuum cleaner. You need to clean constantly. Um, it's non-stop, non-stop, guys. Like, dust allergy is the worst. Dust mite allergy, I should say. That's actually my most severe allergy. Ugh. Yeah! Samu! Going tomorrow to buy some Copic Chows. Enjoy! That's exciting. Ooh, I'm excited for you. Does the cat have whiskers? Nope. <laughs> I'm not going into the whisker territory. <laughs> not for this one. If I were doing an actual customized piece, I would include the whiskers, but because I'm really... I don't have the proper gel pen yet. I keep saying it in every live stream, but I, I'm waiting till I'm getting paid because I haven't gotten paid yet. Uh, we only get paid once a month here in Germany, so it's usually at the end of the month and I've already spent all my money because we're planning a trip to Iceland and I don't want to use that money. Um, I just don't have any cash on me right now, so I'm waiting till I get paid to buy a gel pen. Okay, I'm gonna take a water break. I'm super thirsty. <laughs> Battle scar. There's another live stream? What do you mean there's another live stream? <gasps> Wait, where's my water? My water is all the way under my table. guys. Give me a second. What kind of job do you work? I work as a um, project manager um, for training and documentation, like a, like a knowledge manager, knowledge manager, knowledge. I don't know how to describe it, but I train people and I also take care of like important documents for knowledge share, knowledge transfer. Um, and like I typically work for like, I don't know if you guys know Beiersdorf. Like that's one of our customers. So I, I work mostly with Nivea, like the Nivea brand. That's who I, I, I train. Playing Sims 4. I was playing Sims 4 a few days ago too. Sims 4. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna progress now with the body. The body is gonna be fairly easy because it's mostly white, so I don't have to do too many shadows. Ha ha ha. This is gonna be nice. Let's just erase these guys, these lines first. So we're gonna use the lightest pencil I have, which is the. Warm grade number one. And we're just going to add the outline of the fur, which is actually kind of just chilling on the ground in the photo. He's really furry, so he's just like, yeah, I don't know. Na, 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 na. Okay. All right. When and how did you discover you can draw? That's a hard question to answer because there's many factors that come into play. Um, it's more so that I had the feeling to draw for a very long time, like since I was a four-year-old, maybe, you can say? <laughs> I know that doesn't answer your question, but it's just like, it's always been there. I've always had the, the want to do it. Um, but as a serious like artist, probably like two and a half years ago, I would say, it has been 
sort of the defining moment where I really decided to really push it and be like, yo, like I wanna draw. I wanna do some some pretty cat portraits and pet portraits and whatnot. So I'm gonna practice every single day till I get really good. And that was like, that decision was taken two, two and a half years ago. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna draw the fur on his back now. showing up okay so you've done the general outline now I just want to we're gonna start to bring in the color to the center of his body now because here it's a little bit of a shadow and here's a huge highlight um so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring in this color a little bit more to the center of his body just pull in the lines a little bit And I think at this stage you don't have to really worry about getting the strands of the hair correct. It's more so just setting the color down. We're gonna define the hair strands later on with a darker shade of the warm gray. So I'm just using warm gray number one for now. And it probably, you guys probably can't even see it on the screen, um, to be honest with you, because it's really light in color. Updog? I don't know what Updog is. Where's the bunny dancer thing? It was removed last stream and I just forgot to put it back in. Um, I moved it- I removed it completely so... I have to like get the link back again from the actual like stream labs but... Ooh, I should probably do a, a screen- or a thumbnail update. Okay, so let's do a thumbnail update. More zombie animals! <laughs> I have to draw his eyes. I'm gonna do his eyes last. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. Uh... Okay, so let's change the thumbnail. Yeah. God, sorry if my stream like froze there, froze for a few seconds. Okay. Give me a second, guys. I don't see the chat right now. All right, thumbnail should be changed. The chat quality might be, or the stream might be bad quality. No comment, Nico. <laughs> All right, there we go. We changed the thumbnail and we're gonna progress with the body now. Na, 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 na. Oh, you guys are t giving me such sweet comments on Instagram. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay. Let us progress with the thing. Okay, so with the body, we're gonna keep bringing in the color of the warm green number one. Just coloring it in some of the, sh the, sh the lightest areas or the shadows, I mean. And we're gonna further define the shadows with the like warm green number two instead. Okay, and we're gonna bring this down here as well. Mm. 
And here. Okay. Now we're gonna take the worm grain number two. And we're gonna further emphasize everything here. Especially where the fur meets the legs and the underbelly. So there's a lot of darkness there, a lot of these shadows is piling up there. So we wanna just emphasize this part. Are you using Faber-Castell colored pencils? Yep, yeah, I'm using the Faber-Castell polychromos. It's, um, yeah, that, that's the only pencils that I use. The Faber-Castell colored pencils. So it's important that we connect these, this fur here with this, the underbelly. So we're just going to combine these two colors together to make it look like a smooth flow between the mane of the cat and the underbelly. What was I using again? Um, worm grain number two. The only thing about this eraser here, the kneadable eraser, is that it gets underneath your fingernails all the time. And I go to work, even if I wash my hands, this stuff just doesn't get out. So when I go to work, I always have like blue fingernails under my under my nails. And I swear I wash my hands, guys. Okay, so I think we have to bring in an even darker. So we're gonna bring in worm grain number three. Start drawing in the paw. There's a little bit of the paw. Ah. I think it's safe to say we can just scribble in the color for the paw because it's just too much, it's just gray, completely gray, so. Review. That's fun. Love book. Books. Are, reading books is fun. How much longer do you think this will take me? Um, not much longer. I would say I pro probably have approximately half an hour left. Maybe half an hour left of the stream. The stream is pretty quiet today. It's just a just a nice stream. Um, not too many people, so I think we're not gonna delay the stream any longer either. So we're just gonna we're just gonna finish the end part of the cap, and then we're gonna do the eyes, and we're just gonna leave it at that. So it's just just a nice little thing. So if you guys have any questions to ask me, just ask me away in the chat. We can do a little Q and A at the same time. I know we did a Q and A um, maybe like an hour ago already, but we can do another one. Just keep asking away, and I can answer some stuff.
Where are all the bras? Yeah, the chat is really empty today. I honestly think though that there's an issue with YouTube because they had an issue with the live stream. Like when I started live streaming, it said the live stream has failed, yet it said that I was online. And it took me a few minutes to actually come online and I didn't do anything. It just said that the stream was failed or it failed. So it doesn't seem like the stream is showing up in recommendations like it usually does. It doesn't seem like I hope that people got notified that the stream was actually happening, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a quiet day today, which is rather unusual for Sundays. Do you usually stream on Fridays? Do you usually stream on Fridays or Saturdays? I usually stream on, um, yeah, Fridays, but I'm thinking of changing the date. It's not confirmed yet. I have to check to see how my schedule progresses over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, I usually stream on the weekends, um, Fridays, Saturdays, and then sometimes Sundays. It really depends on the day if I'm feeling ill. Um, like this weekend I was actually got a little bit of a cold and I think I fought it off pretty quick. And um, yeah, sometimes I have other things to do. Like next weekend, it's my husband's birthday. So probably won't be able to stream on the regular days that I normally do, which is why I didn't have anything scheduled yet. Yeah, you didn't see it on yours. I think some people didn't see it. Um, honestly, there's not much coverage on the actual stream. Usually we have it recommended to other people and people come and they're like, yeah, I was here because of recommendations. I think that there's just something weird with YouTube. Um, also, I did a live stream last week and um, it seems like the live stream didn't save properly. So now it's only 13 minutes long on my actual channel. Uh, like video the, the video i saved is 13 minutes long while the actual live stream was like three and a half hours so it seems like there's something weird going on with the youtube live stream again again but that's okay we're intimate intimate little chat group here i have no complaints it's like whatever it's a good way to get people to notice like to come and subscribe as well but sometimes it just doesn't work that way so it's fine Move to Twitch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like I keep saying I keep saying Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Like I would like to move to Twitch. Um, but at the end of the day, the reality is um, YouTube livestream actually provides me with the viewership I need to build my YouTube channel because it's either a slow progression. Um, and it I would like to have of course more subscribers. Cause eventually I'd like to do this a little bit full time, you know, be, you know, teach art to some to some people. But, yeah, and Twitch won't be able to offer me that, I don't think. Um, so I have to build my viewership on YouTube first before I move to Twitch. And, yeah, I don't know. I know Twitch is so much better, though. Would you recommend Prisma colors or the Polychromos? I can only recommend Polychromos. I uh, have n never used the Prismacolors except for the Cola Race pencil, which is just this like sketching pencil here, which is the blue, light blue. Um, I haven't used any other Prismacolor before, so I can't really say. But I use primarily Faber Castell, which is really good. His eyes are starting to bother me now. <laughs> Every time I look at him, his face is like killing my soul. Okay, so here we go. 
The chat is so quiet, guys. There's no one talking. <laughs> when I remember the hand from the girl in her fox drawing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't bring that back. Oh my gosh. Was a bad. That was a bad one. Hi, teeny tiger. Na 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 na. All right. So we got one last leg and the tail and then the eyes, and we're pretty much almost there, guys. Don't know how much I've been streaming. Six for three hours already. Almost three hours, I think. Yeah, Tommy chan That's nice. Keep drawing. That's really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the comment as well. Pencil, do you like 7B or 6B? They're practically the same, yo. They're like, um, I use the 6B a lot, but I don't have the, I don't have the, um, 7B, but I do use the 6B. So we're gonna draw in the tail here. favorite youtuber um <laughs> uh <laughs> what's my favorite youtuber i like the drama 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 channels like that are like catching like hh3 productions i really enjoy i really enjoy that it's one of my favorites they're so funny so funny and they're like really calling out all the BS on YouTube, and I really appreciate that. That's that to me is like gold. It's comedy. It's golden comedy. Uh -huh. Can you say hi to my dad? Hey, <laughs> hello. But he can sing. Nope, <laughs> I can't sing. I cannot sing. I can't uh, sing. I don't uh, sing good. Hi, Jensen. Welcome. Oh, now is the time where I'm feeling really hungry. Okay, this paw here, <laughs> it's going to be so hard. It looks really sweet, but it's gonna be so hard. Okay. First of all, let's sharpen our pencils. Ah, oh, it's not gonna, ah. Let's make the tail darker, so because the paw is also equally as dark, and you gotta kind of show the difference. 
between the tail and the paw. Just gonna look a bit hard. Eh. So tired, guys. <sighs> I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to be like chilling in bed. I'm gonna make some food, I'm gonna make some cookies, and then I'm going to be chilling in bed. Or maybe I play Sims. I'm not sure yet. Has wait, uh, Yoksa, Yoksa, Yoksa the Vampire. Did you play the new the Vampire expansion for Sims Four? Did you already play that? What time is it in my country? It's 6.30. I'm really tired and I'm really hungry. I've only had soup today. What type of pencil are you using? I'm using the Faber Castell Polychromos pencil. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I did get new lighting. Thank you. I got um, two hot boxes. So I got a hot box here and I got a hot box here. And in between here, I have like. You guys want to see? Wait. Check. Wow. Check this out. Whoa, I've got so so many things here. I got my lights lightsaber. But what's really cool is I can change colors. Check this out. So I've got a remote. If I want like Nah, it's not doing it. Seems like my remote is dead apparently. Whoa. No, there we go. Maybe like Star Wars. But it can change all kinds of different colors. So let's, let's put it back to normal. Ha! Whose cat is that? Yeah, it's um, it's a subscriber's cat. I don't think she's watching. Actually, ah! Okay, one sec. There we go. We balance it. Okay. The toddlers and the sims. Yeah, I only just got a toddler. Uh, a few days ago, I got my first toddler and I was like, oh my god. <sighs> like, it's so cute. You can do so many cute things with them. <laughs> Thanks, Art Kimberly. My lights lightsaber. Yeah. I love that you're so childish. Am I childish? I could be serious if I wanted to. But then again, I'm thinking, wait, what's the fun of being serious on YouTube? Like, you gotta be entertaining, right? So, I get really silly. Like, okay, the things that make me really silly is after midnight, for whatever reason, like when it's when I'm super tired, I get so, I start laughing at everything. I feel like I'm drunk. It's just like, it's just a mess. It's like enough, it, it's just weird. Um, and when I'm really tired, that's the way I get. I get very, like, not hyper, just like, um, like silly. I just get so stupid. Like, I get really stupid, actually. Uh, you can just ask my husband. He knows all about that, <laughs> that issue. He makes fun of me all the time. Check it, buddy. Let me check it. Ah! Where's the punk? I just realized you guys can't even see me when I'm drawing. Here, let's move this inside. There. Uh, I have allergy. My ears are so like. Do you guys, when you guys have allergies, you have like um itchy ears, like inside? It really sucks. Video. Video is back. Why did you delete your channel? Video deleted his channel. You could have changed the name, eh? Le Villon? Villon! You, you know I like the name Villon. 
Villion, Villion, Villion. Je suis Villion. Philippe Ice Pog. Ah, si. Super cute, yo. Okay, I think we're progressing with the leg here. We're just gonna. Keep trucking on, guys. We're gonna do the leg. We're gonna get the leg done. <coughs> My friends made fun of it. Why would they make fun of it? Ah, Villion's still your name. Dragon Tamer Villion. Villion. I like Villion. Je suis un Villion. Je suis uh, très très bien Villion, oui oui. What's my favorite fandom? Um, I don't have. I'm actually not into fandoms. Like, what would you? What would your favorite fandom be? I'm not into that. I don't have anything that I... I'm kind of a boring person, actually. I don't know. Hi from Czech. Hi! Buddy, do you like unicorns? I don't dislike them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, unicorns themselves. I mean, I've never seen one in, in real life. I can't say they would be cool or not. I know they don't exist, just in case you guys are about to ask. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I can't- I, I have no comment with unicorns. I think they look cute. You're French, though. Villia! Oui, yeah, I'm. just so you guys know, I'm, I was exaggerating my French accent there. If you guys were to hear me speak actual French, you would probably make fun of me, because I sound funny. I have, a, I have a very thick accent, which I will not say in my video, or... <laughs> I will not talk French. What's with the dots? What? I didn't do dots, yo. Who did some dots? Who gave you some dots, yo? Someone's dotting you? Or Arthur's dotting you. <gasps> Dang! Favorite candy. I'm not a candy person. I am a chocolate person. I love chocolate. I love everything with chocolate. I will eat non-stop chocolate. I will drink chocolate. I will... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When are you going to finish? Very soon, guys! We're going to finish it very soon! I'm just trying to get the paw ready here. And then we're going to move on to his eyeballs. And I think that will be the end of the stream! Because Bunny has to eat. Bunny is very hungry. Let's go, French Bunny! Na 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 na. Yeah, it sucks. I have work tomorrow. Uh, the weekend never feels so long. I feel like it goes by so fast. We should seriously have a three-day weekend. Three-day weekend would be awesome. Awesome. There's so much hate, yo. I know, dots have such an effect, don't they? It's like, oh, you know she's pissed if she uses dots. Oh, a six day weekend would also not be that bad. <laughs> but we would never get paid, that's the issue, right? It'd be like, you work one day, you get paid for the equivalent of one day's work. That would suck. Did I have chocolate castle? What do you mean? Is there a castle out there that's made out of chocolate? One day, maybe. One day. Oh, 
Okay, I think we're gonna make this paw here darker to match this one. Yes, I think we are pretty much almost done. <laughs> I don't want it to be over! Yeah, well, Bunny's going to die if she doesn't get food very soon. And also, I really want to bake some cookies. I've been wanting to do it this morning, but I, I got up too late. I was really tired today. So I went to bake some cookies. And uh, yeah, we're gonna bake some cookies. I mean, generally the paws are not, they're like, man, I could do so much more work. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna go with my marker. Let's just do an overlay here with the marker. Okay, so let's do the same on these paws. By the way, um, shout out to those users who mentioned, like, actually I wanted to do a video about this last week. Cause last weekend I got, last Sunday actually, I got a notification from some users who were trying to contact me to let me know that some other user was stealing my content. And I thought it was pretty interesting. I wasn't even mad. I was just like, okay, like, thank you for stealing my content. I don't know. Like he totally da like ripped off all of my videos and was re-uploading them onto his channel. And he was calling it like, I don't know, some random name. And it was so weird because every single time, like he didn't cut out my logo, he didn't cut out my intro, he didn't, you know, it's me in the video talking. And it's like, uh, hi, I'm Brushes and Bunnies. And like, I had so much proof that it was stolen. And I was like, wow, like this guy, what the hell? It was so weird. And uh, yeah, like, I contacted YouTube and they were so quick to take it down like I, I copied like I told them that it was a um, like he was impersonating me that's the only choice you have like he's taking your content he's stealing it and he's impersonating you in a way but it was so random I was like what the hell All right, so I think we're almost there. Almost. Just gonna add some more detail with the fur here. With the marker, the Copic marker. No background. Nope, not tonight. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to do for a background. What would you guys think? What would you guys think as a background?
I'm gonna be doing the eyes, yeah. I'm just gonna finish the fur here and then we're gonna do the eyes. Majestic, majestic royal man. That would actually be quite funny. Okay, so the cat's eyes are blue, but they're like an icy blue. Like they're quite light in color, and I'm a little bit worried that I will not be able to draw them properly. So we're just gonna wing it. I said I'm gonna do the eyes very, very end. Um, we're gonna go ahead with this color here, the cool shadow. So Persian's eyes are very strange looking. They have like, typically they have blue eyes. And they're very light, like extremely light in color. And I'm just going to take the black here. Whoa. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, we're just gonna... Uh, So I apologize if this cat ends up looking like a mental patient. <laughs> I don't have a proper reference photo to work off of, so it's gonna look a little bit weird. Okay, now we're gonna bring in this color here. Do you guys like animals with blue eyes? I'm not really a fan. You can also adopt rabbits that have crystal blue eyes and I just don't, I just don't like it. They look creepy. I don't know. It's like the husky thing. People, many people like the huskies with blue eyes, but I, I just, I just don't. I just, I just can't, I just can't deal with it. Oh god. Okay. No, 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 no. I also have blue eyes, guys. I have greenish blue eyes. And no, I'm talking about animals only, not humans. Humans, I mean, it's fine. Any eye color is fine. But... Yeah, I think animals with blue eyes is a little bit creepy. Alright, I think that the eyes are not that bad actually. Let's see how that looks like. <laughs> looks creepy. Okay, so let's take the gel pen. They're like, <sighs> looks weird. Okay. Oh, my ears so itchy. Let's add a little bit of undershadow here to make it a little bit more realistic. Boys and girls, 
I think we are done, or in German, as we would say, fertig. Ich bin fertig. We are finished with this little a drawing. Little, little sketch. Itty bitty baby sketch. I don't know when I'll be live streaming next because uh, I do have a busy weekend coming up with my husband's birthday and gonna go to an exhibition and a couple other things happening. Also my mother-in-law's birthday, so we have to... Um, I don't know when I'll be live streaming next, but I will be announcing it on my YouTube channel. So come checking back. Come check back and see when it's announced. Also, I will be posting some videos as well. So I'm st I'm working on videos currently, and I will I try to keep a schedule to so publish every Tuesday and Thursday, and then live stream on the weekend. So that's typically the plan that I'm going for. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys so much for your support. I know you guys don't want me to leave, but I am very, very hungry and it's almost 7 o'clock. So I want to make some cookies and make dinner. So thank you guys all... Every, blah, 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 get off. Thank you guys for watching. I very, very much appreciate your support. And um, I hope you guys have a nice Sunday evening. Yeah? Then I will... I have to quit the, the live stream. <laughs> have a nice Sunday evening, and thank you guys so much for your support. Bye!